Hi all. So today's video we are discussing about the day 30 five spark series. The first one will be the rolling average. So some of the cases we need to deal with the real life scenario of the stock prices of data and want to calculate the rolling average of the stock price for each stock price within a specific time period. So it will be like a prediction kind of thing. That is called the rolling average. Before moving into the pie spark code, we will need to uh, more aware about what is the rolling average. The rolling average is also called the moving average. It's a statistical calculation used to time series analysis, smooth out fluctuation data or a specified interval of time. So if you look on this uh, means uh, share data, it will be uh, frequently varying. Okay, but definitely if we need to predict something, we need to be analysis within a specific period of time, maybe one hour or two or three hour of time. So this commonly used technique is called a various field, including the finances, economics, signal processing, and data analysis. The rolling average provides a more stable and less noisy representation of data, making it easier to identify the trends and the pattern. So how to average the calculated? First one, select a window size. Window size means uh, it will be like a three days or three hour, uh, means seven days, 30 days. So this is called a window size. Next one will be the slide the window, starting from first data point to whatever the data point we need. That is called a sliding window. Then smooth data. The result of this calculation is a new time series, often referred to as rolling average or moving average. Each point in the rolling average represents the average value of the data within the window at the point of time. And next one will be noise reduction. Trends identification, seasonal adjustment, forecasting. These are the some of the things we can identify with the uh, moving average. So you can see here we have a set of data, like this is called a symbol and a timestamp. Then this is the price. Okay, you can see here 930, 9, 930, 10, 1030, 11, 11, 11. So these kind of means each half an hour we are getting the data plus prices. So first we need to use this from five spark sql import spark session uh, uh sql dot window window then five spark function import column average then we created a spark session then the data also we created okay next one will be we created a spark dot the create data frame data and schema is passed and convert the timestamp column into timestamp type okay that means with the column we are updating into timestamp the timestamp column cast into the timestamp so cast into the timestamp this is also a very important step then define a window specification for the three hour window partitioned by symbol and ordered by the timestamp so window partitioned by symbol ordered by timestamp rows between minus three to zero then calculate the rolling average within the three hour of time so we have dot the with the column rolling average a new column is created and the average price over the window specific. Then we have dot to show. Then you will get this is the price in between a rolling average price. Okay, in between it will be like this. So this is called a rolling average price. We can see in between the period of time. Okay, I think it is simple. So you just try this one. I will share this one. Okay. Thank you.